the best way to memorize lines. That's what I'd like to impart to you today. In all my years as a professional actor and a professional acting teacher and coach, this is the best way I have found to memorize lines, okay? This methodology I'm going to give unto you here today. Before I get into it though, I wanna tell you about one of the biggest traps I think actors make when attempting to memorize their lines, which is they're not separating the memorization of their lines from working on the part. And I think most actors don't actually have a specific technique that makes sense for them. And because of the nature of the audition experience, a lot of adrenaline, a lot of fear comes charging up to the surface when we get the audition, right? So we can kind of panic and we as actors can get into fantasy instead of actually doing practical real work in regard to our art. What we can do is get into fantasy. And when I was a younger actor, I would just walk around fantasizing about how the audition was going to go thinking I was memorizing and working on it. Meaning I'm just walking around doing this. I'm like, Right? <laughs> and that's not really working on anything. I used to go into the room and walk into the room and there was the casting agent and the producer, whoever, and they're like, hi, Greg. And I'm like, I wasn't expecting this is what I was thinking in my mind because I wasn't prepping to enter into a room and there's a chair, should I sit in or should I stand? And they're looking at me and I would say my first line, you know, a highly classified, and I'd realize like, I haven't even said it in full voice. I've been walking around my home, mumbling, fantasizing about playing the part, about being the character, about being, you know, at the audition. So, very helpful to have your audition technique labeled in a notebook, step by step. This is the first thing I do when I see the sides on my phone. This is the second thing I do, boom, boom. And if you don't have a technique that you can write out step by step and follow, I suggest getting one ASAP. But when it comes to memorizing, we want to make that a separate step. I don't work on my acting while I'm memorizing. At a certain point, I'm just going to let it rip and go with my action and do the scene or practice the scene. And wherever I'm at with the memorization, that's where I'm at. And if I need to look at the script to say the word, I'm going to look at the script, right? But you can't give an honest performance and get the lines right at the same time. You can't do both those things. So you want to spend time memorizing it, and then you want to practice spending time going after that one specific action you're trying to get from the reader. And when you're doing that, F the lines. If they come out, great. If you have to look at the script, great. If you have to read off the teleprompter, great. But when you're acting, you're acting. So many actors try to get the lines right while acting, and then the scene becomes like a spelling B M I S S because I'm trying to remember the lines instead of whoosh, just boxing, just trying to get what I want from that other person. Okay, so the actual memorizing. This is what I do is that I take these are the pages from a movie I did recently. What we want to do is we want to look at my line here. I want to look at my line. This first line, Captain Morris says, a highly classified package is due to be delivered here. This is yet to occur, correct? So when I'm memorizing, I want to read that out loud with no acting, only following the punctuation of the script, no inflection, as simple and direct as possible. A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. This is yet to occur, correct? And if I'm first memorizing this, I'll just take it one sentence at a time. A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. And then I will turn away or cover it up and say it without looking at the script now. A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. And then I look and see if I got it right. Yes. And I read it out loud again. A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. And then I do it without looking. 
a highly classified package is due to be delivered here. And I want to do that three times in a row, be able to say it three times in a row without looking before I add on and go for more lines. And I don't want to memorize the lines like this. A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. Because if I memorize it with the line reading, it makes it easier to memorize. But when I try to be spontaneous and honest in the scene, a highly classified package is due to be delivered here. I am falling into line readings because I use the line readings to help me memorize. We don't want to do this. We want to get the lines in a part of our mind that goes below, beyond that egoic, get it right, get it right. We just want to drill them and get them in here. And it's a repetitive exercise. It's monotonous. You have to go over it again and again and again and again. But it really does get it in. And it does a couple other things this way of working as well, right? So let's say now I'm adding this next line. A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. This is yet to occur, correct? A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. This is yet to be occurred, has it not? A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. This is yet to occur, correct? A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. This has not happened yet, am I correct? A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. This is yet to occur, correct? A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. That is yet to occur, correct? Now, if you notice, even when I'm getting the line wrong, I'm saying something equivalent. I'm aiming to say something close to it, and I'm trying to kind of match the syllable phraseology content, meaning I want to try to have it have the same rhythm of the line, the same length, and I want it to be close to those words. And I want to practice just continuing to speak and not stopping and thinking and trying to figure it out. Because a lot of actors memorize like this as well. A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. This is yet to occur, correct? A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. This is yet to, this is yet to occur, correct? And then they wonder when they do the scene, a highly classified package is due to be delivered here. Why is that gap there? Because they've memorized the gap. Because every time their mind goes, I don't know what happens next without realizing it when they were drilling lines, a highly classified package, a highly classified package is due to be delivered here. This is yet to occur, correct? We're looking down, so I'm memorizing having to look down and I'm not practicing just letting the words come out, right? So I want to read it here in full voice. I want to say without looking in full voice. And when I get it three times in a row, go on. So if, if I, let's say I've done it twice in a row and now I go, a highly classified package is due to be delivered here. This is yet to occur, correct? A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. This is yet to occur, correct? Okay, let's say that was the third time. I got it three times in a row. Now I would go on and there's another character here, Ackerman, that has the next line. And it says, yes, sir. I mean, no, sir, it has not occurred. I'm not going to say his outline out loud, but I'm going to take the time to read it. So I'm going to read the line I just memorized out loud, read his line in my mind, then say the first sentence of my next line. A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. This is yet to occur, correct? To be painfully clear, if any package, no matter how small, was brought to this location, you would know about it. A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. This is yet to occur, correct? To be painfully clear, if a package were brought here, no matter how small, you would know about it, correct? Now, I didn't get it exactly right, so I would keep going over it, going over it, right? And that's what I do with the whole script, right? You want to just cover it up, read it, I mean, then cover it up, look away, say it, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And by memorizing it with no inflections and no line readings, this allows you to let it rip. So with that first line, you know, the first line in this script here, um, 
Let's say my action is to put someone in their place. I'm going to put a jerk in their place. A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. This is yet to occur, correct? And I can change the action to comfort a loved one. A highly classified package is due to be delivered here. This is yet to occur, correct? I can do whatever I want with the line because I'm not locked in to memorizing it. I'm not locked into, I haven't memorized line inflections, right? This way of memorizing works very well. Jogging, have them on an index card, rewrite the lines on an index card or on your phone, you know, a treadmill, some kind of exercise seems to help. Walks around the neighborhood and just for about 30 to 45 minutes, I find that's as long as the mind can take memorizing this way. You just drill them for 30 to 45 minutes and then let it go and then put it down and come back to it later that day or the next day. And it's amazing how with this way of memorizing, the mind will feel like, the surface mind feels like, I'm not sure I really have this down. But then when you just jump in and play with the reader, you'll be surprised what comes out. And again, if I've taken the time to do this and practiced, like I've been demonstrating, to be painfully clear, if any package, no matter how small, were brought to this location, you would know about it. To be painfully clear, if any type of package were brought here, you would know where it came from. Am I correct? I'm not saying it exactly right, and I'm going to aim to memorize it. I'm going to keep practicing it but I'm memorizing saying something close to it, or I'm practicing saying something close to it and getting in that realm. So then when I'm doing the scene, to be painfully clear, if a package any size were brought to this location, you would damn well know about it. Is that, is that the truth? So they probably aren't going to mind at the audition if I'm a little off. Most actors are trying so hard to get it word perfect and they are so, they have fused together the acting and the way the line should sound that they're stuck in to be painfully and they're still trying to just get that line right. We don't want to get the line right. We want to spend the time memorizing them with no inflection, just drilling them, getting them in our brain, memorizing saying something close, memorizing speaking in the same you know, voice we're going to speak in at the audition and just doing it again and again and again and again and again. And then when you act, you let it rip, right? And so this way of memorizing is just about showing up. Just show up, drill the lines, and separate the memorization from the boxing, from going after that one specific thing that you're really going to actually do to that other human being. Okay? So, hopefully this makes some kind of sense and is helpful for you in regard to memorizing lines. I might do another video where I go over this again or talk about it more with, the, uh, you know, different different ways of talking about it because I think it's so important and so many actors are burdened with this, how do I memorize the lines, okay? Thank you for your time. Go let it rip!